Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron and today we're throwing down some chicken wings. But instead of using your normal sauce, we're using Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. So we're gonna take these wings, we're gonna smoke them at 250 degrees for about an hour. In the end, on the YS640S, we're gonna crank that thing up to 325 degrees and get that skin crisp up. Once the skin looks like what we want, we'll toss it in the Polynesian sauce and we also have some teriyaki sauce for the other half. So we'll get those going and you guys stay tuned for some awesome wings. We'll bring you back. All right, welcome back. We're gonna get these wings ready here. So we're starting out with full size wings and we're just gonna cut the ends off and then cut them at the joints with these kitchen shears and make them into those party wings that you're normally used to smoking or frying. So we'll just take these kitchen shears. Kitchen shears work real well. You can take full size wings, get them down to the wing size that you want, and it's really easy to do. So we'll get these cleaned up, get them sheared up, and get them ready to rub. So once you get them all trimmed up, the next thing to do is to dry them. The secret to crispy wings is making sure that you start with a dry product. And then you're going to add fat back to it. So in this case, we're using olive oil. We're just going to take this olive oil and make sure we have a thin coating on every one of these wings. So we have dry wings at the beginning, and then we're adding that fat back. That fat's going to help that skin render into a crispy bite through skin. So once we have those covered with olive oil, we're going to use Honey Hog Hot by Meat Church to cover these. We wanted something that wasn't too spicy or wasn't too sweet, and this really fits the bill. Since we're using a sweeter sauce with the Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A and the honey teriyaki sauce, we wanted to make sure that we weren't too sweet. So you're going to take these and you're going to put a liberal coating on them. And we're just going to put them on these cooling racks. Uh, we'll get them coated up here, make sure that we have a good coating of rub, and then we'll get them out to the smoker. We've already got the yoder up to temp. We're going to smoke these at 250 degrees and then at the end we're going to kick it up to 325 to make sure that we have a crispy skin. We got that yoder set at 250 degrees. It's sitting at 252. It's ready to go. Let's get these wings on and get them going. All right, we're rolling at 250 degrees. We're going to run these things at 250 degrees for about an hour and then we're going to crank up that temperature to about 325, 350 to crisp up that skin. So we're going to get these uh, chicken wings on. We're just going to cook them on the top shelf. A, a yoder inherently is hotter on the right than it is on the left. Even though the fire pot is on the left, that fire and that heat comes up, comes through, goes out the exhaust. So the heat builds up on this side. So we're going to cook them on this side. So we're closer to 250 degrees and we might rotate them about halfway through. So we'll get them on now. And again, we're using these cooking racks. These cooling racks are awesome to smoke on. Uh, as you can see, you can move everything around without having to do it individually. So if you need one of these racks, there is a link in the description down at the bottom, as always. Pick some of those up, they work real good. That way when we do rotate them, all we have to do is pick them up, slide them around, and go for it. So we'll get these on to 250 degrees. Come and look at them here in a little bit, make sure they don't have to be rotated. If they do, we'll rotate them. If not, we'll just let them go, and then we'll turn up the tent to get that skin where it needs to be. So, see you guys in a minute. All right, they've been on about an hour, rolling at 250 degrees. Let's check in, check the color. That's what we're looking for is color. Once we got a little color on them, we'll switch it up to 325, 350 degrees or so, and get that skin crisped up. So yeah, the color is looking great. Got some color on it. It's time to kick it up a notch. So we'll get that temperature kicked up and uh, it should only take about 45 minutes to an hour to get them done. Don't mind lunch there. Homemade boudin, we'll be putting out a video on that sooner or later. All right, the color looks great. We'll just take the dial, take it to 300. Let's start at 300. We'll start at 325 and see how it crisps up. So. We'll come back and check on it in about 30 minutes. See y'all then. All right, we've been about 30 minutes at 325 degrees. We're gonna check the skin, make sure it's coming along nicely. So we'll open up and check them out. Oh yeah, they're looking good. Getting firm. That's what we're looking for there. Probably about another 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna take them, 
toss them in, in some sauce. We're doing the Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce today and a little bit of teriyaki sauce, but just wanted to kind of see what that Polynesian sauce tastes like on these wings, especially after they've been cooked in. So we'll get that done here in a few minutes. Looks like our lunch is done, so we'll get that boudin pulled off and uh, go from there. So we'll see you guys back here in about 15, 20 minutes. We'll get them, get them sauced up. All right, we'll go get these wings off and get them sauced. Today we're gonna to use honey teriyaki for half of them. Then we're gonna use Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. I'm real curious to see how that does once you put it back onto the uh, smoker. So we'll get them off and, and get them sauced up. So we're just gonna take this teriyaki sauce, put a little bit in the bottom. And then we'll take the Polynesian sauce. stuff's good. We'll take that Polynesian sauce, put some of that in the bottom too. Just put the hot wings in there and that hot wings will make that sauce thin out and then we'll just toss it and get them back on. Do about half of them at a time, that way they get a good coating. Got half of them in there. do is take these things and just coat them up. You just continue to flip them until you get a good coating on them. And then we'll get them back on. Same thing with these. A little bit smaller bowl, a little harder to flip, but just get them flipped around. Get them all coated up. And then we'll get the next ones on. Again, we'll put a little bit more for the next batch, just a tad bit more. Same thing on this side, just a tad bit more. Just toss these things up. So we'll get these tossed up, get them back on, and we'll bring you guys back when we take the chicken wings off. Should be about another 15 minutes or so, just enough to let that sauce get tacky and sticky. So we'll bring you back then. See y'all in a minute. I had them sauced up, we're gonna check and make sure that they're getting sticky. And they are definitely sticky. So we'll get these pulled off and uh, bring you guys back for a taste test. Those are the teriyaki side there. Man, they look good. And that's the Polynesian side there. We'll get these pulled off and get them tasted. Mmm, look good. All right, let's get them pulled off. All right, there they are. Got the Polynesian sauce there. There's that honey teriyaki with those seeds in it. Man, that looks good too. All right, let's taste them. All right, let's give these things a taste test. Oh, man. Oh. Hmm. That sauce on those things freaking amazing. Got really sticky, must have a lot of sugar content. It's awesome. You guys should try it on some of your wings. We're gonna dig into these and eat the rest of them before the, before the kids see them. Thanks for watching, guys. I was serious about eating them all. Mm -mm -mm. See y'all next time.